What do you do when you receive a horrible holiday gift? Here's what I do. Ah, I love it! Nobody ever buys it. This video would have saved me so many awkward moments. Hi, Kate and Amanda here. Hi! So the holidays are fast approaching, which means one thing. Lots and lots of pie! No. It means you're going to be getting a bunch of terrible gifts that you don't want. Oh uh, yeah, that too. But you can't just say you don't like them. That's what I do. Then how does that go over? They take my pie away. Here are a few tips on how to fake enthusiasm for your less than stellar gifts. If your grandmother gives you a cat-shaped ceramic cookie jar, oh. just deflect by saying, wow, what breed is that? Yes, then you sound really interested and when you go home you can just throw it away. Or if you want a little less guilt, put it in the recycling. <laughs> Nana will be none the wiser. I think that's a raccoon. It might be. Tip number two. If your boyfriend's mother gives you an abomination of a sweater... Ooh, that is tough. Just pull it out of the box, examine it with awe, take your time, feel the fabric, and then sneeze really loudly and proclaim that sadly you are allergic to the material. And this is very upsetting to you emotionally. Now Amanda, would it be too much to start to tear up a little at the end there? I think that might be overdoing it. But you know, a, a slight distressed lip quiver and a pout might be appropriate. You are good. I know, it's an art form. So what if my boyfriend gets me a really bad gift? How bad are we talking? Slingshot bad, laundry basket bad. Oh, that is bad. I got all that in a bowling ball. Well, what you should have said was, oh gosh, honey, you must have accidentally switched my gift with your friend Greg's gift. <laughs> How silly of you. Yes, good. But now what do I do with the laundry basket and the slingshot and the bowling ball? I don't know. Make a life-size version of the game Mousetrap? I love presents.